E C I E V E deceive wrong why do you even bother coming to class Zane it's clear you don't study I do study Miss Waters I just you're dumb <laughs> <laughs> okay get your exams on your way out they need to be signed by your parents and returned by Friday hey next time do the reading dummy Another F, Zane. Now you need to stop being lazy and actually apply yourself. Zane, if you don't get at least a B on this next test, you will fail seventh grade. I'm not lazy, Ms. Water. Enough excuses. Now get yourself together before it's too late. Now, I don't get how he's in the seventh grade. His parents should have held him back. Yeah. He needs to be in the third grade. How's it going, son? I saw what happened in class. Wait, now you probably think I'm dumb too. No, not at all. You could be honest with me, Mr. Clifford. Teachers at school think I'm dumb. Kids at school, even my parents. It's probably time that I accept it too. Zane, listen to me. You're not dumb, okay? The problem with school is that it expects everyone to learn the same way. The truth is, we're all learning different ways. You just have to find your truth. I don't even know what that means. Try this. The word you were trying to spell was deceive, right? And you got tricked up on the I and E. Yeah, I, I always thought I came before E. Right, except after C. Now that's the rule to remember. And it's easy because it rhymes. I before E except after C. So, deceive is spelled D-E-C, E-I-V-E? -E? <laughs> Bingo. You got it. Now, that's the trick is called a mnemonic device, or two to help you remember. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. I will never forget that. <laughs> I before E, except after C. I before E, except after C. Mr. Van Dyke thinks I'll get an A plus in AP Calculus, which means I'll be a shoe in for a valedictorian. Wow. We are so proud of you, Brian. Yes, we are. And especially now that you're captain of the chess club, just like your father was when he was your age. Brian, you make the whole family proud. Zane, you haven't even touched your salad. Sorry, I'm trying to finish my English homework. Zane, you've been working on that same sheet for the past hour. I mean, how hard can it be? Nice. No, I'm not done yet. No, no. This is all wrong. Can you help me understand it? I mean, it's common sense. We can talk about this after dinner. I don't want the chicken to get cold. Now, finish your salad, Zane. What do you think you're doing? Eating my salad? Not with that, you're not. That is your entree fork for the chicken. Now, use your salad fork. Sorry. Did I do something else wrong? Your napkin. And what are you doing with your backpack hanging on the back of the chair? This is not the lunch cafeteria. What's this? Did you fail another test? You have got to be joking. Zane, you are the son of two USC PhDs. Do you know how embarrassing this is? Why can't you be more like your brother, Bryant? He gets all A's and A pluses. I, I don't know who, I'm sorry, guys. That's all you have to say is that you're sorry? You know, if he doesn't pass seventh grade, we're gonna be the laughing stock of the community. Mm-hmm. Imagine what all our friends at the country club will think of us. B-I-C-Y-C-L-E, bicycle. That is correct, Jamie. Great job. All right, for our next word, let's do necessary. Zane? This should be good. Necessary. N-E-C-C. 
coffee. Wrong. Again. It has one C. How do you not know that when that is the word that was assigned in last night's reading? I know. I just get my letters mixed up sometimes. You know, I had your brother in my class, and he got an A+. I don't know why this is so difficult for you. You know, maybe Zane should be in special ed. <laughs> <laughs> then again, probably can't keep up there either. Knock it off, Amir. Zane, I am trying not to be tough on you, but I am having a hard time understanding why you cannot conceive the lesson. Probably can't spell conceive. Well, in all fairness, it is a challenging word. No, it's not. Conceive. C-O-N-C-I-E-V-E. -E. Conceive. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is C-O-N... C-E-I-V-E. -E. Conceive. Yeah, right. Like you can get a word I can't spell. Actually, Zane got it correct. Great job, Zane. Maybe there still is hope for you after all. Dude. All right. The next word will be... Mom, you should have seen it. I got an antibody in front of the whole class today. Zane, can't you see I'm on the phone? Yes, I want to go all out for Bryant's graduation party. Let's not spare any expense. Mom, you should have seen it. I know, Zane. He deserves it. Yes, I spoke with his AP physics teacher, and she said Bryant's the smartest student she's ever had. Can you believe it? Of course. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. There's something very special about Bryant. Everyone sees it. Have you thought about college? Yes. Our first choice is still Harvard. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Clifford. That makes a lot more sense now. I'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome, Madison. Hey, Zane. How's it going, buddy? Good. Couldn't spell the word necessary in class today. Mm. And it was embarrassing. But then our teacher gave us another word, conceive. I used will that you taught me, and it worked. <laughs> so thanks for your help. That's the way to go, son. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. One collar and two sleeves. Sorry? You said necessary was the word you couldn't spell, right? Just remember, for a shirt, it has to have a collar, C, and two sleeves, S, S. N, E, C, E, S, S, A, R, Y. You'll never spell that word wrong again. Wow, that actually makes a lot more sense now. Is that another one of your mnemonic devices? <laughs> mnemonic devices, yes. I have a lot more of them too, so whenever it's necessary, come and see me. I definitely will. Mr. Clifford, it's okay if I ask you a question? Sure. Why are you a janitor? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But you should be a teacher. You're really good at it. Well. Uh, was my dream, but I guess life had other plans for me. Why do you say that? Yeah, I haven't shared this with many people, but I'll tell it to you, okay? I grew up without a father. And my mother, by the time I reached 10, she had completely lost her vision. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I don't be. In spite of all that, I had a pretty good childhood. Every night before going to bed, instead of my mom reading me a bedtime story, I was reading him to her. Dr. Seuss, the Hardy Boys. <laughs> it's one of my fondest childhood memories. Not only did I love it, but it ended up being quite the blessing. Because by the time I was in the fifth grade, I was reading on an eighth grade level. Actually? Yeah. And as I grew up, I figured since I enjoyed reading to other people so much, I may as well become a teacher. But unfortunately, it didn't end up working out so well. Why not? I'm sure you can pass all the tests and stuff like that. Well, the test wasn't a problem. The money was. It's not cheap becoming a teacher. You have to get a bachelor's degree. You have to get accredited. You have to take a lot of training. It's long and it's expensive. Besides, I was taking care of my mom full time and just never able to do it. Breaks my heart, too. It was my mom's dying wish that I become a teacher. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Clifford. That's OK. You know, officially, I may not be a teacher, but I figured out a way to help kids. That's why I'm a janitor here. It allows me to still work at the school. And that 
is a blessing right there. I'm sorry. I don't no, 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 it. it's okay. Zane, what are you doing? Coming. Sorry, Mr. Clipper. I gotta go. Yeah, that sounds pretty necessary. N E C E S S A R Y. <laughs> necessary. One collar and two sleeves. Great job. Way to go. It's okay if I ask you one final question. Go ahead. Ms. Waters says if I don't get at least a B on my next test, I may not go to eighth grade. If it's okay with you, do you mind helping me study for it? I like that very much, Zane. Zane is excited to have someone that can help him learn without making him feel bad. He starts spending a lot of time with Mr. Clifford. Mr. Clifford teaches him all kinds of new tricks to help him learn. Anytime Zane makes a mistake, Mr. Clifford's patient with him and helps him understand. And all that patience pays off. Zane starts doing a lot better in school. Everyone around him is impressed by how far he's come. Well, almost everyone. Even Miss Waters is so surprised with Zane. But the most surprised of all were his parents. Well, how'd it go? He hasn't told me yet. He said he wanted to show us together. Now, Zane, if you didn't get anything higher than a B. I got an A! I got an A! Really? You got an A? You got an A! This is great! <laughs> See, honey, I knew you had it in you. Look at that, honey. He is our son, after all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're saying if I don't do well in school, I'm not your son? Like you're gonna disown me? No, why would you say that? Because that's how you guys treated me. Everyone treated me like I was so dumb and a lost cause. It was bad enough hearing it at school every day, but coming home and hearing it from my own parents too? That hurts a lot. I almost started believing in those things about myself too, but luckily I found someone who helped me believe in that I'm not dumb. I, I just learn differently. Same. All I needed was someone to believe in, in me. But all you all care about was how I made you look bad, bad. And I don't even know where the style of folk goes. Oh, same, honey. Oh. We are so, so sorry. We never meant to make you feel that way. She's right. Danny, we're really, truly sorry. Look, we're gonna do better moving forward, okay? Honey, we love you so much. Promise that won't happen again. So. Tell us who this teacher was. Was it Mrs. Waters? Because we'd like to do something nice for her. Actually, it wasn't a teacher at all. It wasn't? Hey, Zane, how's it going, buddy? Hi, Mr. Clifford. Look, I got an A. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Big old A for awesome. That's what you are, Zane. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. It's all because of you. Hi, it's so nice to meet you, Mr. Clifford. I've heard so much about you. Oh, same here. We want to thank you for helping Zane. He's been struggling for so long, and whatever you're doing has truly made a difference. I can't take the credit. I'm just an old janitor helping out when I can. Well, you might just be a janitor, but according to Zane here, you're the best teacher he's ever had. And I think it's time we make it official. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm not following. We'll, we'll make what official? We're going to be paying for your education, Mr. Clifford. All the requirements. Go become a teacher. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what to say. You know, no one's ever done anything like this for me before. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know my mama's dancing up in heaven right now. 